trip has begun. Uh, it's October 26th, I believe in Ohio. Uh, it's about 2.15 in the afternoon right now. Hit the road about 1, staying in Des Moines, Iowa tonight. So I should, uh, should be getting there about 10 o'clock. I think about 10 o'clock depending on the time change. But pretty much uh, not much going on today. Just driving 10 hours. Don't see any wildlife. Just see a whole lot of uh, State Route 80. So stay tuned. Uh, the next time you see me, I'll probably be pulling into the hotel unless something uh, crazy happens. But I'll keep you updated. Tomorrow things will get a little bit more interesting with some wildlife. So stay tuned, day one. It's absolutely pouring, thunderstorming, lightning. Traffic's a standstill on the highway, and I left 10 minutes ago. I'm in Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines, however you pronounce it. Uh, the destination is Wall, South Dakota today. That'll put me about three hours from the hunt area. So I'm hoping to make it there before uh, dark, set up the tent, actually do some, uh, some camping tonight in this boondocking spot that looks really cool that I found uh, several years ago. Never been there, but I found it through Overland forums. So that should be cool. The weather's supposed to clear up once I kind of get uh, into South Dakota. It's just gonna be windy, so. Camping in a tent in the 40 mile an hour winds might be interesting, so we'll see how it goes. But today's just driving. I'm gonna stop and do some shopping for some food and stuff like that, but we are driving, so I'll probably pick you up at camp later unless I uh, run into something along the way. Maybe I'll start seeing some wildlife in South Dakota. I'm not sure. We'll see. Stay tuned. Little update, travel day two. Uh, it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon. Looks like I have about two hours to go. Until I get to Wall, South Dakota, That's where I'll be staying tonight. Uh, the rain finally stopped. So for the first time today, it is not raining, and it looks like, unless the weather drastically changes, which it can, I should be good for the next two weeks with no rain, which would be freaking awesome. The only uh, thing we're going to encounter tonight, especially where I'm camping on top of this hill, is going to be a lot of wind. So that's going to be interesting to see how my TV takes the wind brought two different teepees on this hunt. One's a Lux, one person, it's very small. I may use that tonight just because it's super small. I can put it right next to my truck and I'll be out of the wind. The other one's a Viam Madison, which is more like a three or four person with a stove jack. That's the tent I'm gonna be using on the hunt. It's pretty big. It'll be like the Taj Mahal out there. And it actually weighs less than the smaller Lux. So that's pretty cool. But I don't think I'm gonna set it up tonight in the wind. We'll see. But I should be getting there about 4, 4.30 with that time change. So we're going we're gonna to gain an hour, lose it, whatever. We're going back an hour with the time change. But other than that, nothing else going on today. Uh, South Dakota is pretty cool. So far, I've just seen some whitetails. I haven't seen any mule deer or pronghorn yet, but I don't think they live. I'm still kind of in corn country. It just looks like Iowa. So. Well, that's pretty cool. It's probably a uh, common occurrence around here, but I'm looking for a camping spot here in the, I guess it's the Badlands. It's not quite in the National Park. It's the Buffalo Gap grasslands. But they're just bighorn sheep right where I was gonna camp. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of see them in the background here. They're right there. So that's pretty cool. Here we go, the hunt is about to begin, I think. About a mile from the uh, Montana border. So I'll be coming into units I can hunt here. It's just starting to get light out. It's Thursday, October 28th. So that's when I'm starting the hunt. 
I really have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna start looking at maps once I find a nice place to stop. Today's probably just gonna be glassing, mostly from the truck. Maybe I'll walk up to a few ridge tops. Just trying to get my my bearings in the units and even in the state. The first time I'll be stepping foot in this state, so maybe I'll be able to spot something up on the public lands that are around, maybe not, but it should be interesting. I'm already starting to see some antelope, so that's kind of cool. I almost hit a big muley with my truck about, I don't know, 50 miles back in South Dakota. Huge. It had to be, had to be 170 inches, just eating out of the ditch. So that was pretty cool. That at least gets me a little pumped up for the hunt, but okay, I'll bring you guys along. We'll see what happens. Should be, should be an interesting first day. All right, here I go. Headed back on my first, uh, first time into the woods in Montana. Sorry for the sun glare, but I'm literally five minutes into the state, into the unit, and I spotted some mule deer from the road. Couldn't tell what they were. They kind of ducked into this river bottom. It's a real small piece of BLM, so go back and check it out. Check out this river. It's not too far of a walk. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Off to a decent start so far. I made it, uh, I don't know, about a half mile from the truck. I bumped two does out of this river bank. I didn't even know this big river was here. I thought it was just a depression, but it's a pretty decent sized river. Two muley does were bedded right on the edge of the river. So I'm just gonna kinda sneak my way along this. I know I'm probably going to regret passing this buck, but he's just too small. There's three small bucks. Literally at 50 yards right now. But he's just a forker. And it's my first hour of the hunt. And he is not very bright. But that's pretty cool. I'm using a general tag. First day of the hunt. Three bucks. I apologize for the wind noise. It's pretty windy. I'm up here in this, like, uh, it's kind of like a plateau cow pasture. But I spotted a muley shed. Not too far from where I saw that buck, or bucks I should say. Some pretty cool territory here. It's pretty much the only river bottom I can find around here that's on public. And this is where I saw all those mule deer, so I'm gonna be looking for some more river bottom properties. Two does just busted out here, but it's a pretty cool property. All right, update. Day one, hour, it's only 11 o'clock, so I'm only three or four hours into this starting to get a little pattern on these deer it seems like they're staying in the river bottoms that's where I saw those deer this morning I just drove by a river bottom that's next to public and I saw 15 deer it looked like one shooter probably 120 inch 4x4 four four. wasn't able to get any video of them because I couldn't stop on the highway and there was an, a guy hunting there actually so I didn't want to mess him up but I found some places on public that this same river goes through. It might be a bit of a hike to get there, but at least I'll be able to get to a river and a lot of the public is next to the river. So I'm hoping that they come up out of that river this afternoon. So that's gonna be my plan for this afternoon. Hike back in there. If it's terrain that's capable of me camping, that's where I'll stay tonight. If not, I'll just stay somewhere close to the road, but that's what I'm gonna do. I marked the deer I saw this morning, marked the deer I just saw off the highway, potentially could hunt those, but like I said, someone's hunting there right now, so I'm not gonna go back in there. But we'll see, hopefully this plan pays off. If I can get it done on day one, that would be fantastic. All right, see you later, truck. See you in a few days, maybe tonight, if I shoot something. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll see anything, but. Packed enough supplies for a few days. 
hiking in, I can go anywhere from, I don't know, about a mile to maybe four or five if I really want to. So, let's see what we can do here. Got the pack loaded down, got the stove, pretty much got everything I need. Probably too much stuff, but see if we can get on some deer. Stay tuned. All right, sorry about the wind. I think that's just gonna be uh, inevitable out here. But I just spotted a group of does way, way out in the open. It doesn't look like there's any bucks around, but I'm gonna kinda go around them. I think I picked out a pretty good spot to camp. Fortunately, this river, I wanted to uh, kind of focus on is all cow pasture with a whole bunch of black angus so that might be out of the question but I see some better territory probably about five miles deep so I'm going in I got three days worth of food hopefully find some water back there hopefully get out of this wind but I'll keep you updated I know you probably can't hear me In my first camp, it is windy up here. There's nowhere to get out of the wind where I'm at. Tomorrow I'll definitely have to pick a better spot, but tonight I'm gonna hunt these ridge tops. I can glass into that river bottom I was talking about earlier. I already see does out there. This tent uh, doesn't breed much confidence in the wind. I had to kind of support the center pole with my trucking pole because it's just a lightweight carbon. So I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch. It's about 2.30, and I'm gonna go out and hunt this evening. Depending on what I see, I don't know if I'll stay here tomorrow or not. If I do, I'm definitely moving camp because I'm kind of just exposed and in the wind, and if my tent doesn't get destroyed, it'll be a miracle. I might have to start using my other tent if I'm gonna be in the wind. It's smaller and it takes the wind really well, so we'll see. But right now, just gonna have a little lunch. I apologize again for the wind. There's no getting out of it. But here's my sad, very sad, sad tent. It's probably gonna blow away with all my stuff before I uh, get back. But where I'm at, it's a pretty good vantage point. I spotted five does that way, two does that way, two more does that way, and a big group of deer that way. So I'm absolutely surrounded by deer. They're just so far away that I can't really tell what they are. So I'm gonna try to get closer to that big group. I think they're on public. It's so hard to tell they're so far away. They're probably two miles away, but I got plenty of time before dark comes. So I'm just gonna creep these ridges, try to get in a better spot to maybe put a stock on them, at least see if there's any bucks there. But I found does, so we'll see, stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna try to keep you out of the wind as best as possible. But I finally glassed up a buck that I think I wanna shoot. I kinda gotta get a better look at him. He looks like a four by three from what I could see. Definitely the best buck I've seen so far. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of deer today. It's been ridiculous. They've all been super far away. I'm not sure if he's on public or not. He's probably about two miles away, but they're moving this way on the ridge. So I'm gonna shoot across this whole valley. I'm gonna shoot across here. The deer's over there. And I'm thinking they'll come across that ridge. Found another shed. Tiny little guy. I'm leaving it. Yes! Day one. Just hit that it was a four by three. I've been putting a stock on him. I got him, I saw him from about two miles away. He's laying there dead right now. It's a 475 yard shot. I think I hit him a little bit back, but he didn't go 20 yards. I did take a second shot at him. I don't think I hit him. Cause he was kind of flopping around. I didn't want to make sure he didn't get up. But it's day one in Montana. And obviously the biggest mule deer I've ever got. Oh, I gotta get up there and check them out and take some pictures before it gets dark. Oh my God, I'm about three miles from camp, five miles from the road. 
I'll show you when we get up there. Here he is. Whew. Out of breath. It's not the biggest mule deer in the woods, but the biggest one I've seen today. And I'm happy with him. It's a four by three. Definitely a mature animal. Oh yeah. Can't complain about that for a first mule deer. Heck yeah, I'm freaking pumped. He didn't go 20 yards from where I shot him. Shot him from way down there. All right, I'm gonna get some pictures of him before it gets dark. Then I got some real work to do. But the 308, the Kimber Montana, the Nikon scope. It's a 475 yard shot. I've been practicing for this pretty much my whole life shooting groundhogs. I am so pumped. Oh, that's bad. All right, I got my photo op finished. As you can probably see in the video as I was dragging him to try to take some pictures away from this blood, both his antlers pop right off. I don't know if it's that's from him rolling down this hill or what, so tax nervous is gonna have some work cut out for him, but I'm gonna get him tagged, get him cut up. I am so excited. This is freaking awesome. It's freaking awesome out here. Just look at it. Longest shot I've ever taken at an animal and it couldn't have worked out better. Now I got a lot of work to do. I'm about two, two miles from camp, so get him quartered up, get him taken care of. Heck yeah, dude. A lovely morning in camp it is. It's cold out right now. It's probably 20 degrees, windy. But just eating some breakfast, having some coffee. I'm gonna go down and pick up that meat that I stashed a couple hundred yards away last night. Try to clean it up a little bit, take some bones out. Then I'm packing this bad boy out of here. It's gonna be a heavy pack today regardless because I brought everything back in here for camp for three days and I only stayed for a day so I got extra food, water, but it's gonna be good. I might go out and do some glassing. I just went out with my binoculars and there's deer everywhere out there. Hundreds of deer all the way around me. All real far away, but that's pretty cool. So, name of the game is packing this beast out today. It's gonna be tough. All right, sorry about the sun again. The sun seems awfully intense out here. But right now I'm going to get the meat that I stashed probably I don't know, 500 yards from camp. I'm gonna take it back to camp, debone it a little bit, lighten the load, and then I'm packing up camp and headed out of here today. Not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. Might try to find somewhere where I can freeze this meat after I fully process it. I brought my vacuum packer, so I'm gonna go to a check station, but then uh, clean this deer up and head off to the next leg of the adventure. I think I'm gonna go check out some elk country I think that's the plan for today, but I'll keep you updated. Alright, this is what it's all about. Leaving the campus spot. Got everything on my back. Camp. Three days worth of food I didn't eat. Barely any water left. Plus that mule deer. I'd give him probably, I boned him out. So probably 40 pounds of meat plus 10 pounds for the cape and horns and skull. I got about three miles, two to three, depending on how I walk it, but it's relatively flat. Back to the truck. 
hoping to get there, get this deer taken care of. I'll probably stay in a hotel tonight. Not sure yet. There's not really anything around this area, but I'm headed to the Elkwoods tomorrow for sure. So stay tuned for that. Mule deer hunting is over for now. I'm gonna keep this brief, but I've told you this before in videos from pretty much from Nebraska, a little bit of Idaho. I hate cows. Pack out is becoming much harder because I gotta go through this cow pasture on, uh, on BLM land and it is brutal. It's like a big washed out pond area and it sucks. Oh, I hate cows. I'm gonna have a giant steak tonight just to, uh, just to reassert the fact that I hate cows. All right, rant over, back to packing. Well, this terrible pack out's coming to an end. You can see the truck way out there. Probably about half a mile away still, but this has been something. Like I said, 90 to 100 pound pack, I would guess. Three miles. It was rough, but this is what I trained for. Hopefully I can do it with an elk here in the next couple weeks. We'll see. I'd say there's a few antelope here. So a little update, I'm just driving around doing some scouting of lands for, uh, I don't know, possibly the future. I'm definitely gonna try to put in for an antelope tag probably next year. The season starts super early. I scouted out some good spots, so after seeing so many of them in Wyoming and now here in Montana, it's kind of a bucket list item for me now, so I gotta get one. Definitely gonna be hunting with a bow. But this looks like a heck of a spot right here. There's probably 60 or 70 of them. All right, so I'm staying in a hotel tonight so I can, uh, ooh, a bunch of mule deer. So I can get that deer finished process in a vacuum packet. I think I found a place that'll freeze it for me while I hunt the rest of the week or the rest of the two weeks. Ooh, a bunch of turkeys too. Crap a bunch of turkeys. But regardless, I'm driving through uh, some private roads. There's a little bit of BLM land around here in northern Wyoming. And I just videotaped probably a 140 inch whitetail. It's pretty cool. First whitetails I've seen on the trip. Took a bunch of video of them. They were actually right up to some BLM land, but I don't think there's any access to it. So maybe in the future, if we, if we ever draw a tag, we could uh, try to get access to that. But took a bunch of video of that, so I thought I would uh, tell the story. There is so many deer, and this is some pretty cool country that I'm driving through. It's got whitetails in the lowland and mule deer is kind of higher up. But staying in a hotel tonight, probably headed to elk grounds tomorrow but I'll keep you updated. Man, what a cool town. So, I am in, uh, I think it's called Hewlett, Wyoming. Stayed here last night. It was the closest hotel to where I was hunting. It's about 30 miles from where I shot my buck. Man, there's turkeys everywhere. But, today, I am headed Headed to Elk Country. Uh, the closest town I'm be going to is probably Dillon or Bozeman, somewhere in there. So it's about an eight hour haul. So I'm gonna shoot out that way. Hopefully get on some elk. Tonight I'll probably just camp, maybe glass a little bit, but it doesn't say I'll be there till uh, about five o'clock. So I'm not gonna get crazy and go out way hunting in the mountains at five o'clock at night. But hoping to see some elk. I got, a, got some hints from Jay, so that's where I'm gonna go. But nice long drive today, probably see a lot of deer, maybe some elk. If I see some elk along the way in units I can hunt, I might stop and uh, camp, go after them, we'll see. But mostly long day of driving, rain sucks today. It's 40, it's rainy, so the weather's terrible. But I'm on the way, stay tuned. Update time, still headed west. 
uh, from the mule deer range to the elk range. Starting to see some mountains finally. But I'm just kind of taking it easy. Tomorrow, I'm going to be headed to a mountain. I got some info that there may be some elk at. Probably pack in. I'm going to do some east scouting tonight. I'm staying in Butte, Montana tonight, which is a couple hours from where I'll, where I'll actually be hunting. But I'm probably going to hike in at least a few miles, stay for, I'm going to do three days, I think. I'm going to pack, pack everything for three days. As long as I can find water back there, I can stay for a full three days. Hunt, scout. If I'm not seeing anything, I'm just going to pick up and move. i try to get a few spots located tonight. I'll be able to run my computer and some Wi-Fi, I think. So that's pretty much what's going on. Uh, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I should get to Butte about 6. And pretty much take it easy because hunting's going to get tough. The weather looks good. Might get some snow at the higher elevations. It looks like I'll be hunting pretty high if I can make it up this mountain. So that should be exciting. I haven't gone over, I think 8,000 feet was as high as we went in Idaho. But we did most of our hunting at about five or 6,000. So this will be much higher. So we'll see. If the snow comes in, then I'll probably go to some lower elevations, but so keep my eyes open. Keep my eyes open for grizzlies because this is the first time I'm ever in grizzly bear country. So that's, that's exciting. You go from there. Got an elk tag to fill. Stay tuned. Ooh, we're in the mountains now. Look at that. Heck yeah, elk hunting starts tomorrow. Probably wrap up the mule deer video, or at least the first part of the video, and move on to elk now. First time in uh, western Montana. It's already not disappointing driving next to the Yellowstone River. It is freaking phenomenal. I haven't seen an elk yet, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open. We're getting close to the units I can hunt. I think maybe I can hunt here. I haven't got a chance to look at the maps yet. But it is awesome. Simply beautiful. Thank you.